All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with another quick little lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, today's lesson is uh, Ezekiel, the second chapter, and we're just going to, you know, do a quick little run through, all right? And then whatever precepts come out along the way, you know, through the Spirit. So the second, uh, second Ezekiel, <laughs> second chapter of Ezekiel, first verse. And he said unto me, son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me, and he spake unto me. And set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me. Okay. Verse three. He said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, a rebellious house. It's like a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me in their. They in their fathers have transgressed against me even until this day. And that still stands until this day uh, here in 2020. Right, they're still rebe rebellious. What does Isaiah, Isaiah, the first chapter say? It says they did not consent. All right, an ox knows his master, uh, a, a dog knows his owner, an ox knows his master. You know what? Let me get it because I don't want to butcher it. Isaiah, the first chapter. All right, verse three. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know. My people do not consider. Ah, a sinful nation. All right? Ah, you got, you got to say it like that. Ah, sinful nation. Because <laughs> Jake, wicked as hell, man. A people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. The Lord called us a seed of evildoers, man. We're supposed to be the holy seed. Now, although it's going into mainly the two thirds, you know, we all have fallen short of the glory of Yahweh Shai. But, hey, Listen, the deeds of Jacob has surpassed the, the deeds of the wicked. All right? That, that's how wicked Israel is, man. All right? Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh. They have uh, provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, and they have gone backwards. All right? I'm going to read verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. All right? So that's how the Lord's looking at us, man. Honestly, man. This is a, a rebellious nation, man. Okay, verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. So they hard-headed, man. All right? Now, you know what they say? A hard head brings what? A soft ass, right? It makes a soft ass, man, which means the Lord is about to tear y'all up, man. Y'all about to get the biggest ass whooping known to mankind. And you guys are Israelites. But you, hey, you, you, you chose to partake in your enemy's uh, uh, judgment. So you want to stand hand to hand with Esau? You're going to be thrust through with Esau, man. Okay? For they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh thy power. Now, did not the Lord say, I have sent my prophets out early? Prophesying, saying, do not do this abominable uh, thing that I do not like, Salaki. That's a, a, a rough uh, a, a paraphrase. All right. He said, uh, man, let me get it. I'm rising up early. This is Isaiah. No, it's, it's I believe it's Jeremiah. Hold on. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 19. It says, Because they have not hearkened to my words, saith Yahweh, which I send sent unto them by my servants, the prophets. All right. So that's that's how you people get the message. Amos 3 and 7. You get the message from the prophets, man. Okay? Rising up early and sending them, but they will not hear, save the Lord. All right? 
They don't want to hear. Hey, they rather us preach unto them what? Smooth things. They don't want to hear about the end of this kingdom, man. That's rough for them. That's rough for them. Okay? They rather be, um, they're going to be wicked seven days a week and go to church for an hour and think that covers them. All right? Because, hey, going to church don't make you righteous. If anything, going to these so-called churches make you wicked as fuck because it's a Harlem house. All right? It's, uh, verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So whether whether they're going to listen, whether they're going to scoff, whether the motherfucker don't come, we're going to prophesy to when. But by time the Lord has sealed all his prophets, you guys are going to know that the prophets have been among you. All right? When every fucking kingdom fell on this planet Earth, the prophets was there. The prophets was there. Okay? It says, verse 6, And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou shalt dwell among scorpions. Hey, now listen. These are... These are insulting words, first and foremost. For you people that get offended by bitch, dog, all the all the extra bullshit today, man. Fuck shit, all, all the extra French words that we use today. Being called a, a briar, thorns, and scorpion, that's not good. That's an insult. Okay? It says, And though thou dwellest among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house. Niggas trying to come up, rah, 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 talk hard. Niggas done came up, pulled pistols, all types of shit, man. But, hey, well, matter of fact, what the scriptures say? Let's get this. All right? Acts 15 and 26. Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of Adulan Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? So, hey, when we go out there on them corners, man, uh, it's hazardous. But it's all for the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? That's what we do it for. Okay? Uh, now, check this out. Because the same words we're speaking into the children of Israel are the same words that's written in this role that Ezekiel is about to get. All right? Now, check this out. It says, and thou shalt speak my words unto them. This is verse 7. Whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are most rebellious. All right? But thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like the rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And when I, and when I looked, behold, in his hand was written, uh, written to me. And lo, a book was written therein. And he spread it before me. And it was written within and without, and there was written lamentations, mournings, and woe. So y'all got <laughs> death and destruction coming to a lot of you people, man. All right? Death and destruction is coming to a lot of you people, man. All right? And this is the job of a prophet. If this is the book, the same role that the Lord just sold Ezekiel, this is the same role we're using today, man. What do you think is contained in that role? Let's see the job of a prophet. Isaiah 28 and 8. And the prophets that have been before me, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah is an ancient prophet. He's talking about prophets before him. You got Abraham. You got King David. Uh, um, uh, Abraham, uh, Isaac, you know, the, the three patriarchs. Okay. Those was holy prophets of the past. You had holy prophets in the garden. All right. Uh, I ain't about to dive into that right now. That's just another level. But nonetheless, the prophets has always been around, uh, what's that, uh, Luke 1 and 70, since the world began, man. Okay? So the job of a prophet was what? The prophets that have been of old before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and pestilence. Same thing the Lord told John. Let's get it. In Revelations, the, I, I believe it's the... 
Temp chapter, yup. I'm starting with nine. And I went unto the angel, and he said unto me, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, and thou shalt eat it up, and it should be in thy belly bitter, and it should be in thy mouth as sweet as honey, man. Okay? This is the same row. Okay? And I took the little book of the angel's hand, and I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. But as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and many nations and many tongues and kings. So he had to digest and understand what he was getting first before he went back out to do what? Prophesy before many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings, man. Which just proves reincarnation also because John didn't go out prophesying after this. It was going to happen in the future, right? Guess what? This, this prophecy right here has to come to pass. When John was going to uh, 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 get up again, right? John of the uh, island of Patmos uh, to uh, to prophesy in the future, because he died on that island, man. All right. But nonetheless, whether and you see, he was in captivity. Whether you're in captivity or whether you're a free man, and I use that word free man loosely. Well, I ain't gonna use it uh, uh, loosely because the truth has set you free. But I'm talking about as far as being in physical bonds or if you just able to roam about, all right? Whether we was in captivity or whether we had tranquility and peace, the prophet, the job of a prophet was to still go out and preach the work. What was ever contained in that role, we got to go out and talk about because these are things that accompany salvation. Those are the things we, we speak about. Hey, Sirach uh, 39 and 1 says what? We're supposed to be occupied in the prophecies. Where do you find the prophecies? The same role that was spread, that had woes, lamentations, Written therein, all right? The same book that was given John. Same book we're reading. The same book is Yahweh Shai himself, all right? He's the living word, man. So think, take that into context. We have to eat, digest, understand Yahweh Shai. Now think about the body, the, the wine. Hey, it, man, yeah, I'm, the Lord is hitting me on plenty of spiritual levels right now. I'm moved as hell. I got goosebumps thinking about it, man. How deep and raw Yahweh Bashim Shai is, man. How deep and true this word of Yahweh Bashim Shai is, man. On all aspects. Okay? Hey, so with that, hey, I, I pray you was edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. I'm saying all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other uh, apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be.